Hello everyone. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Let's Play Secret Files on Guska. With me, Classic Game Mark. Last time we spoke to uh we got approached by the detective after going back to the museum. We only want to find our father and we can't seem to do that, that about rust someone. bucket is in a really miserable condition. Even with wheels, that thing probably wouldn't move. Without wheels, there is not a hope in hell. As long as the worker is looking the other way, I should take the opportunity. Let's see what Russian construction workers have for breakfast. A thick rubber band. No cheese, no ham, but four layers of butter. I can't get down there. The worker is blocking the way to the sewer. Hello. So late and you're still working? Yeah, real funny, huh? You probably think it's hilarious that a poor guy like me has to work so late. And then has to muck around in other people's shit. Real funny, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, you're in a good mood. I wasn't having a laugh at your cost, honestly. Oh, um, uh, sorry. I guess I'm a little irritable. Today's actually supposed to be my day off, and... Yeah, and now I have to work overtime just because this bunch of soldiers doesn't know how to flush the toilet. You hopefully aren't one of them, are you? No way, don't worry. Good. When I catch the person who dumped this shit on my lap, he's going to be sick just thinking of the word toilet. Yeah, look, could we change the subject, please? My graphic imagination is very well developed, and my stomach is remembering what it had for lunch. Having to work on your day off is, of course, really bitter. That would piss me off, too. Excuse me, a slip of the tongue. Did you already have some plans? Cinema, a few bars or anything? Yeah, I wanted to go fishing. A couple of beers, rod in hand. Yeah, I had a boyfriend like that once. Huh? Nothing, nothing. Tell me more. Well, just a really relaxing day. But maybe I can do it tomorrow instead. If only they finally pick the right lottery numbers. That car over there, is that yours? No, I think that's been there for a few years now. I don't even know if there are any parts still in it. The lottery? What is so special about that? They hold a special drawing in which you can really clean up. You know, I've been playing the lottery for 20 years and never won anything. But today, today is my lucky day. I could tell when I woke up. All this shit is gonna end today. I'm gonna buy myself a little cabin on a nice river somewhere. Maybe I'll even buy the river too. And then... Yeah, and then spend the whole day with your rod in the water, I know. Exactly. The stupid thing is, you have to have every number in exactly the right order. If the first three numbers match, you can win something too. But to really clean up, all the numbers must be correct. That means, in the worst scenario, if you have one wrong number, you can lose completely. Yep, but I'm gonna win. Eight, five, six, five, four, nine. I'm gonna have a new life with these numbers. So the soldiers have screwed up your day off. Did they just turn up all of a sudden? No, it wasn't that sudden. There have been rumors going around for a few days, but I had no idea there would be this many. I have no idea what they're all doing here. Hey, you don't mean to tell me that the soldiers are swarming all over this quarter, and you have no idea why they're here? Well, there are always a few soldiers running around here. After all, it's a military train station. But I haven't seen this many in a long time. I've heard they're heading to Novosibirsk. And what do they want there? I have no idea. They don't talk to us. They think they're just better than us. Most of them don't have an original idea in their head anyway. They merely follow their orders. Someone told me there are also scientists with them. And a little while ago, I saw large cages. I have no idea what they're planning. Cages? Yes. Apparently, there are some prisoners on the train. Maybe that's why. Cages for prisoners? Are they keeping my father like a wild animal? 
I urgently have to get on that train and get him out. I'd better get going then. Me too. Okay, so we need to look at, we need to make a slingshot. I mean, you would not know this, would you? You would not know, I mean, it, it gets, some games give you an idea of what exactly you need to do. Well, let's rummage around in the garbage, shall we? Great! A rusted nut and an unidentifiable iron something. It's the small things in life that bring happiness. Hey! A catapult! We used to shoot at tin cans with these when we were children. That thing is completely rusted and the crank doesn't move. I'll try to support this wreck with these bricks. That thing is completely rusted and the crank doesn't move. Good idea. I can use the butter for lubrication. Even with wheels, that thing probably wouldn't move. Without wheels, there is not a hope in hell. Those things have a huge leverage. The guy who took over the job of Sergei's contact man looks extremely well trained. According to Sergei's theory, I should be able to get in there without any problems. What now? The guy who took over. Let's see if some charming words will get me into the station. Hello, you wonderful man. Oh, hello. All alone are you out here? Can I enjoy your company for a while? I don't care. Uh-oh, that'll be a hard one to crack. Can I borrow your newspaper for a few minutes? What? No, no way. The nurse is finally just about to turn the doctor around. Pardon? Don't tell me you've never heard of the Siberian Saga. No, I have to pass on that. What is it? The soap opera in the Moscow News. A fascinating love story. For the last three weeks, they have been publishing a new chapter every other day. And I guess that the nurse... Yeah, great. That's enough. It sounds really gripping. Are you almost finished with it? No. Not for a while yet. I'm reading it slowly on purpose to prolong the excitement. Of course I have the newspaper at home as well, but there's not much going on here, so I can read without being disturbed. I'm really anxious to see if the head nurse's plot... No! Stop it! My doctor has forbidden too much drama and excitement. You were guarding the side entrance here. Is there any special reason for it? Yeah, no one's supposed to go in there. Talk about stating the obvious. I'm flirting with you, stupid. Oh, and because of that, they have installed a strong, muscular man like you here. What? Uh, you mean me? Yeah, right. I'm sure they spent a long time thinking about who they could give such an important task to. And they came to the conclusion that only you could fulfill the job. Well-trained and radiating power and strength. Yes, you're probably right. I've only been with the troops for three years, but I've already achieved a lot. Of course, I, as a mere woman, feel much better when I know that real men like you are defending our land. What is so important about the station that you have been chosen to guard the side entrance? Actually... I'm not allowed to say. It's top secret. But I guess it has to do with some secret service thing. There are masses of conspicuously 
inconspicuous people running around. You're not from the FSB, are you? Me? No, no, of course not. Phew. I was lucky. I nearly let the cat out of the bag. I don't want to end up like my colleague. Who just took him away. Sure, I understand. Damn, I almost had him in my hands. Your colleague? Where did they take him? Is he coming back soon? I'm afraid not. The two guys that took the poor guy are from the FSB, I think. Oh, why did they take him? No idea. But it's better not to ask questions. The wrong one at the wrong time, and it could be your last question. As soon as they have you in their grip, it's not easy to get out again. If you get out at all. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon. From up there, one can watch over the entire area. I'd better try to be as inconspicuous as possible, and very careful. Here are the numbers of the special draw. Three, five, six, five, four, nine. One single wrong number. The sewage worker will be kicking himself in the ass all day long. If all of these cigarette butts are from today and all from the same watchman, then he should apply to one of those record-breaking shows on TV. Damn! That is the third bulb this month already! What idiot keeps ordering this cheap junk? The story was just about to get interesting. This newspaper here? Yeah? Can I have it? I guess so. The light bulb just exploded on me. It was really old anyway, and... It'll be weeks for sure before anyone replaces it. You have to fill out a form that is signed by the officer on duty and then faxed to the ministry. From there, it goes through three committees and with some luck, I'll see another one before I retire. Yes, the wonders of bureaucracy are international. What about the newspaper? Fine, just take it. Hello, it's me again. Hi. You smoke quite a lot, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know it's unhealthy. But I simply can't give it up. I've tried everything. That's why I'm glad I get to sit outside. At least here I can smoke. Want one? Yes, please. It'll be good for my nerves. Isn't smoking forbidden inside the station? Absolutely no smoking. They probably have stuff stored in there that could raise half of Moscow to the ground. Oh? What things? No idea. And to be honest, I don't really want to know. Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Very wise words. Thanks a lot for the information. My pleasure. See you soon.
one small manipulation of the lottery results and the big win is perfect. Only short term, but isn't short term happiness better than none at all? Here, the late issue. You can find out in here whether you can go fishing tomorrow or not. Yes, I won! I won! I have to go home at once and tell my wife. Oh, what's the point? I'm going straight to my favorite fishing spot and will fish all night. And I'll quit first thing in the morning. If you want to marry a rich man, you'll find me down by the river. I can only hope that he takes his sweet time about resigning. Yeah, I've got my cat sitting on me. She's giving me a purr. And we're about out of time for this video, guys. So, as always, thanks for watching. Just while I have my cat just... You know how what, what dogs do whenever they sit down on something and they, they like, like go turn around in a circle and then lay down? It's exactly what my cat does, isn't it? Isn't it, girl? Hey? Yeah. Probably heard me before, but her name's Socks and she's adorable. I love her so much. Don't I? Hey? Yeah. And you're making me talk about you while I'm talking on YouTube to everyone who's watching me. So you're, you, you watch want all the attention to yourself, don't you? Hey? Don't you? Yeah, apologise for the purring guys, but if you can hear that, that's my socks, that's my cat, socks her name is, because she's got little white bits on her back paws, and they look like socks. It was much better than her original owners called her, yeah, she was called Triangle, she just has sort of like a triangle shape on her chest. Why are they called a triangle? I don't know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, drop me a like and leave me a comment, I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.